From a man that bet his life savings on a roulette wheel in Vegas, to another man who vowed that he would drink his own urine on camera if his favorite football team lost. We take a look at 15 of the craziest bets people have ever made. Number 15. I believe in you, Arsenal. Football fans are known to take their love for the sport too far sometimes, and this was exactly what happened with two supporters from Uganda. Henry Dabasani, a fan of Arsenal, staked his house in a bet against Manchester United supporter Rashid Yiga, hoping that his favorite team would win. The latter entered the wager with an even higher stake, his Toyota Premium, and his wife. The bet was witnessed by tribal elders and was put into writing. So when it turned out that Dabasani was wrong, the man fainted at the thought of losing his two-room house. Dabasani, who has three wives and five children, were evicted from their house the day after the game. Number 14. Weather Girl Strips on TV Every guy was already secretly imagining French weather girl Doris Tillier naked. But no one really thought they would actually end up seeing the ex-model broadcasted like that live on TV. How did she end up stripping in front of an audience? By losing a bet, of course. The 27-year-old said she would present the weather naked if her country's national football team managed to qualify for the World Cup. And much to the delight of thousands of viewers, they did. Number 13. Bet Life Savings Britt Ashley Revel, who in 2004, at the age of 32, traveled to Las Vegas to wager everything he owned and his whole life savings, $135,300, on a bet on the roulette wheel. At the last moment, Revel moved his bet to red and watched the wheel spin in anticipation. This story has a happy ending. Ashley Revel won and doubled his money. What did he do with his winnings? He gave the dealer a $600 tip and went back to England to start up an internet poker site. Number 12. Man Who Bet His Wife In 2007, Russian gambler Andrei Karpov ran out of money while in a poker game against opponent Sergov Brodov. This is where the desperate part comes in. In order to stay in the game, Karpov put his wife, Tatiana, up for stake. Sadly for Karpov, he lost the game and his wife. However, Tatiana was the big winner. She married Brodov, and as she later explained, as soon as my ex-husband did that, I knew I had to leave him. Sergei was a very handsome, charming man, and I'm very happy with him, even if he did win me in a poker game. Number 11. One bet to taser wife. When the Green Bay Packers took on the Chicago Bears, one couple made an audacious bet. The supporter of the losing team would be tasered by the winner. The pair had been drinking in a local bar when the boozy wager was placed. John Grant was supporting the Packers, and his wife, the Bears, with the former taking the win at 27 to 20. Apparently, Mrs. Grant assumed that her husband would never follow through with the actual taser, but he had other ideas. After the game, the two stepped outside into the alley, and Mr. Grant proceeded to zap his wife. Not once, not twice, but three times. Mrs. Grant decided things had gone far enough and promptly called the police to put an end to the proceedings. Number 10. Bet for breasts. An avid gambler, Zembic's buddies challenged him to do something particularly out of the ordinary that would scare most men. For the fee of $100,000, he would have to have false breast implants for a full year. Zembic accepted the unprecedented prop bet and actually went through with it. 18 years later, Zembic still has his 38C breasts and earns over $10,000 a year to keep them. Number 9. Set head on fire bet. A very intoxicated Bonner asked one of his drinking buddies to douse his head with a shot of Bacardi 151 in a bet that his head would catch fire. Sure enough, after two attempts to light the fire, his head went up in flames and earned him the nickname Ghost Rider, the comic book character with a flaming skull. Number 8. William Lee Bergstrom If you want to find a man who popularized big-ticket betting in Vegas, look no further than Benny Binion. The owner of the horseshoe knew that by attracting wealthy gamblers with a lust for action, he'd raise his profit margins. Unfortunately, this strategy also opened him up to huge losses. In 1980, William Bergstrom walked into the horseshoe with $777,000 in a suitcase. He opened it up and put every penny on the don't pass line in the craps table. The thrower sevened out and Bergstrom instantly doubled his money. Number seven, swimming in money. In 1875, Webb became the first individual to successfully complete the feat of crossing the channel. 
but the achievement went to the ex-Navy man's head when he took on a $10,000 wager that he could swim straight across the volatile Whirlpool Rapids by Niagara Falls. It was a disastrous decision, which everybody knew would end horribly. But you have to admire Webb's confidence and resolve. Number 6. Bob Stupak A quarter of a million dollars was chump change to Bob Stupak. The casino owner was notorious for putting money on football games. And in 1989, he made the single largest bet ever made in Vegas on anything. Stupak bet a cool million on the San Francisco 49ers to win the Super Bowl. Luckily for old Bob, the 49ers came through, and he cashed out a million dollars richer. Number 5. The $5 Wager Sometimes everybody wins when there's a bet. Take Bennett Cerf, co-founder of one of the biggest publishing companies in the world, Random House. The year was 1960, and Cerf bet a client of his, Theodore Giesel, that he couldn't write a book with just 50 or fewer distinct words. Giesel rose to the challenge and delivered the classic Green Eggs and Ham using the pseudonym Dr. Seuss. Surf never paid up, but it seems like Giesel made out just fine anyway. Number 4. I Believed in My Boy Nothing says I have confidence in you like placing $200 on a 500 to 1 shot your son will one day win the British Open. Rory's father placed the bet when he was 25, and Rory picked up the trophy 10 years later, pocketing a cool $1 million for himself in the process. Number 3. The Urinal Wager A man who posts under the name Bulls on Parade vowed that he would drink his own urine if his favorite team, the Houston Texans, won against the San Diego Chargers. Much to his surprise, the team did manage to win. So the guy filmed himself drinking a cup full of urine and posted the video on YouTube. Of course, he later claimed it was all a stunt, hoping to clear his tainted image. Number 2. The Long Walk in July last year, Bosnian football fan Vahid Seja took his longest walk ever after losing a bet. He promised that if his team, Bayern Munich, managed to win the 2012-2013 Champions League, he would take a special pilgrimage from his hometown of Bugojno to the Alliance Arena in Munich, Germany. The man lost the wager, but he kept his word and walked 500 miles through Bosnia, Croatia, Slovenia, Austria, and Germany all while wearing a Bayern Munich shirt and baseball cap. Number 1. A Decade Investment On the eve of 1990, one Welsh punter decided to take a small financial interest on the events of the next decade. Clearly a devoted follower of pop culture, the Welsh gent walked into Ladbrokes in Newport and put 30 pounds on an accumulator that was paying 6,479 to 1. The all up was based on certain events occurring before and included Cliff Richard being knighted, 4 to 1, U2 remaining together, 3 to 1, EastEnders TV show remaining on BBC, 5 to 1, Neighbours remaining on television, 5 to 1, and Home and Away, 8 to 1. A decade after placing his bet, he wandered into Ladbrokes and sought collection of 194,400 pounds. Ever make a crazy bet yourself? Why don't you tell us about it in the comments below? I bet you won't. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one every day.